I'm making the WGI finals log right now. It's in the middle of the editing process. It's taking a while. Uh, I took a lot of footage um, and the video is gonna be long, but I'm really excited to share it with you guys. It's gonna be good. But I had to put a pause on that for a second to turn the camera on and address the question, what was Broken City's show about? I know most of you have seen it already, probably, um, whether it be in person at the arena or via YouTube video or something. Uh, but if you haven't seen it, that's actually a good thing. Don't watch it until after this video. I can't tell you guys how many times I've been asked what the show is about. And I don't blame you guys at all for wanting to know. I think this activity has sort of trained us as observers and as fans to always try to latch on to the literal meaning of a show and reward those shows that have a story that's easy to follow or a message that can be clearly understood. Our show was not that at all. Uh, and that's not really what Broken City has ever done. And that's part of what drew me to Broken City in the first place. Some people might think the shows come across as confusing or boring, but I find them to be artistic and emotional and refreshing. And I think I can say that without being cocky because I'm not the one that designs the show. Mike Jackson designs the show and he's brilliant. I think we need to get rid of the notion that you must be able to understand every little detail about a show and a show story in order to like it. If judges thought that way, we'd start to see the same cookie cutter shows year after year that follow the same formula and tell a basic story because that's what would get the highest scores. And eventually we'd run out of stories to tell. I think that for Broken City shows, especially this year's, constantly searching for the meaning of the show while you view it actually takes away from your experience as the viewer. I can tell you right now, it would be impossible for you to figure out what the designer was thinking when putting together all parts of the show. And if you try to do so, your mind will just get cluttered with all these unnecessary thoughts and questions. And you might even start to get frustrated, either at yourself for not being able to figure it out or at the designer for not making things more clear. There are other ensembles out there that put on shows where you can approach things that way as a viewer and be successful, but not for Broken City shows. So I'm not gonna tell you my interpretation of the show. And I'm not gonna tell you my understanding of Mike Jackson's interpretation of the show either. Our show was designed to be a personal experience unique to each viewer. I can only know what it means to me. And I don't wanna share it with you because I don't want to influence how you experience it for yourself. Go watch the show, either again, if you've seen it already, or for the first time, if you haven't, and preferably watch it legally on Flow Marching, and try to take a more big picture approach to watching the show. Don't overanalyze, and just allow yourself to feel what you feel and think what you think throughout the entire thing. There is an intellectual storyline, okay? But don't get too caught up in what it all is. Just accept what you are and aren't able to latch onto and embrace the show for what it is. A nuanced piece of art that is unique, demanding, frankly terrifying to perform, and refreshing. And if after all that, you still don't really get it or find it boring or whatever, that's okay. It's your opinion and maybe Broken City just isn't the group for you. There are plenty of other groups out there that you can watch that play more notes that are louder and at more of a constant tempo and that tell a story that's easier to follow. They're great too. It's just different is all. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, WGI Finals Vlog coming soon. Yeah.